In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use AppMap Navi to ask a question about a specific app map. When you ask Navi about an app map, it sends valuable runtime context about your app and your code to generative AI and gives you highly personalized responses. In this scenario, I got an alert from my APM about slow performance in the user listing pages of our Ruby on Rails application. I'm not very familiar with this code base, so I'm going to start by generating some app maps so I can visualize how this API endpoint works and start to debug this problem. With AppMap installed in my project, I only need to start my application to start creating app maps, as it's enabled by default in development environments. With my application running, I'll go and interact with it to generate app maps of the area with the performance issues. I'll get a request recording one map for each API interaction. Now that I have maps for all of my API interactions, I can select on any one of these and be able to see from API down to the database and everything in between. Because we're looking into a performance issue, I can use the flame graph view of AppMap to quickly identify slow endpoints, functions, or SQL queries. Opening this map, I can see something right away. A repeated call to the current user function, which is causing a subsequent database query multiple times for each request. I can have Navi help me find the source of this problem and help me fix it. Navi will send this question, the sequence diagram of my code's runtime execution, and all of the relevant code snippets to my generative AI backend to get an answer. You can see that right away. It sees that we are missing an opportunity to cache the current user if it's already set and avoid an unnecessary database call each time. I'm going to open the session helper file that Navi told me was the source, and I'm going to add the optimized example. Now, I'm going to save that file and reload my application. I'm going to interact with the same pages as before and then open the app map flame view again to look for improvement. And you can see clearly we are no longer calling the database repeatedly. I'll run my test to make sure there's no other potential problems with this change. And with my test passing, it's time to ship it. To learn more about AppMap Navi, head over to appmap.io.